。安迪啊，最白最白的是什么？哪一个 ？foundation。啊 ，foundation。concealer 是 foundation 也可以。concealer 最白的、啊。这个这个跟那个 coverage 一样吗？哦，这个 coverage 比较好。嗯，最这个最最高的 coverage 是吗？嗯。最高的是。Oh hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today is pink dot, so my pink lights are outside in the windows, making nice pink hearts. And today I'm gonna challenge myself to do a whole pink dot look without any of my usual makeup. All the nice pigments, but I'm just going to use drugstore makeup. So everything I'm using today is in this case here from Watsons. If that's something you want to see, like, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. Okay, so see you in a bit. Okay, so now I'm at uh, Dakashimaya, and I'm off to the drugstore to see what I can find some. Uh, makeup for Pink Dot this weekend. I'm wearing my pink Tartan Mask shirt that I got from um, Super Freak Boutique. And I've got this lovely pink mask that my friends at 3 8 did for me. So Watson's, and it's got quite a big cosmetic section, so I'm going to go and see whether I can find some suitable makeup for a full face of drag for Pink Dot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay. Hi. Okay, so for drag, the most important things are you need something that has really good full coverage, okay, to try to, to erase the entire face. So it says Maybelline High Coverage Matte. These are the super stay full coverage ones. I think these are pretty good. So the trick of drag is that you don't want to match your your skin color too much because if not you can't, it's very difficult to contour and then you end up looking quite muddy so you need a very bright foundation so I'll probably try to get the lightest and then you want something darker so you can contour but not too dark okay. the thing about, the thing about um, Singapore is that the shade range is not great okay, so for concealer, I think the darkest one we have is unfortunately this kind of a caramel colour so we're just going to try that and then we're just going to get some powders to and make sure the powder is light enough. And try this fair powder to highlight. Japanese brands make pretty good eyeliner. So we'll just try this. Let's try this mascara. Lashes. We definitely need lashes. Maybe I'll cheat with lashes. These lashes are all way too small for me. And I'm going to try this cute press Wonderlust Day Tonight palette. It's got a range of pinks and pinks and browns. I think this will work better. So I'm going to get this one. I'm going to try this Maybelline Master Holographic Highlighter. But you know what? What drag really needs is a really white white and a really black black. So white is really hard to find here. Like white eyeliner and white shadows. Really hard to find in drugstores in Singapore. But black, I think I might have to use some brow products, I think. So I'm going to challenge myself even more. I'm only going to let myself use um, eyelash curler from here also. And also glue. I'm going to, I'm going to go back and get some eyelash glue on my, for my brows. See whether that works. So these real techniques, um, sponges and brushes are really, really good. So I'm not going to waste any money on brushes because I've got tons of brushes. So I'm going to use my own. But I think I will try to use eyelash glue, I think. You know what, what the hell. I think I will challenge myself and use these lashes. This is the fluffiest. Okay, I'm done. So, got my shopping. I'm gonna try to a full face of nothing but drugstore makeup. All right. Okay, so that was my trip to Watson's in Takashimaya and I made this pair of lashes by stacking those two packs of lashes I bought together. Okay, and I decided to challenge myself even more by having to cover my eyebrows also with what I got from the pharmacy. Okay, so I'm using the eyelash glue to glue down my eyebrows. Sideburns. I'm going to try to do my sideburns with eyelash glue as well. 
okay? So first, I think the important thing before you put on the glue is to dry it up and that's what alcohol wipes are for. I'm gonna use my own, you can just buy isopropyl alcohol from, from the pharmacy as well. For this video, I just wanted to make sure I have some relatable content and that if any, any of you want to try to do drag in Singapore, maybe for Halloween, um, this might be a good place to start. Of course, you can get tons of good stuff in Sephora, but let's just say you only have Watsons to go to. And you can use this tutorial. I'll be using my own brushes. Um, most of my own brushes and most of my own tools for this. I use this glue to stack these lashes so I know that it dries a little bit quick. So I'm going to work very fast and I'm going to work in halves. Okay, I'm just going to coat my brows. In my opinion, there are some really important bits of drag and one of them is gluing down the brows because it really changes your face. So you comb it up and push it down. Okay, and this dries really quick. It's almost like, it's almost like um, prosade. Cover the rest. Lay them off flat so you don't get any texture later. And let's just hope this works. You could do this with a regular comb or I guess with a toothbrush. I'm stunning the dryer. You could probably get the glue sticks quite easily also from Art Friend. I just, I have like so many, I just bought a whole bunch from America the last time I was there. I just went to Staples and bought like a pack of 12. Okay, let's try this in. Before a gig, uh, when I used to, when I performed before a gig, it was imperative that I get a haircut so that I had no sideburns to deal with. It's all flat. I mean, hopefully the hair will cover it. So now that they're flat, I'm just going to go through a couple more coats. Okay, just so that fills in all the little nooks and crannies. So that I get a nice smooth um, appearance. I'm just going to brush it lightly. So that's nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of coats and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got three coats of glue on and now I'm going to powder it and let's hope this works. I haven't tried any of this by the way, so this is all sink or swim and it might be a big hot mess, but let's just see, all right? I've got two powders. One is a loose finishing powder and one is a translucent powder. I'm gonna try the white powder since it's a little bit pigmented, okay? Um, so I can maybe try to block the brows out a little bit more. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Click Fair. Not bad. Works. Good start. And now I'm just gonna brush off the excess powder. So I got this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser Lightweight and Breathable Primer. Feels like a silicone based primer. Feels a bit like the MAC primer. It wasn't cheap though. I can order stuff off the internet for a lot less than what I paid for this um, pharmacy makeup. For foundation, as you saw in the video, I got this lightest um, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Mainly using that with this contour stick, okay? Um, super Blendable Crayon Concealer in, um, in Medium Deep, okay? This is the darkest shade they have in Singapore. So I can't imagine how um, people of darker colors like Indian people and darker Malay people buy contour in Singapore. They have to go to Sephora or just buy stuff online. It's just not, not fair. Not bad, quite full coverage. That does not play well over the brows. For the brows and the eyes, I'm going to use this concealer, L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in Ivory. And I'm going to just dot that onto the brow. The sad thing about um, drugstore makeup is that you don't really get the really deep stuff and the white. White is really important in drag, okay? So I remember I used to be obsessed with buying white liners. Every time I saw a white liner, I get so excited um, in the drugstore. In America, it's easier, but, and I just buy a whole bunch. That's why I ended up with uh, all, the, all those um, useless, dried out white pencils. Okay, this concealer is a little bit dry, so I'm gonna move a bit fast. Self sets, but it does give me that nice mask, you know? So for contour, I've got this um, L'Oreal True Match Blendable in medium deep. I'm gonna to try to use this as a contour. So, oh god, 
but that's not very deep at all. It's not very deep and it's a little bit too warm. I gravitate a lot more to indie brand makeups online. Indie brands with really nice pigmented makeups. Anything with shimmers and glitters I like to buy. But unfortunately, I set myself this challenge. So I try to do, do the brows of this a little bit. Hmm. Drawing brows, not that difficult with this. Clean up the concealer. So now going in with the powders, I'm going to use the Fair Powder, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder for my highlights. Okay, so that's the center of the face, up there, and under the brow. And the cheek. Okay, and then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I'm gonna put this all over the rest of the face. Okay, and to contour, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Okay, and this is the darkest shade also. Classic Tan 700. It's not the darkest. Bounce that into the center. Okay, not bad. So let's give you some color at least. Might need to deepen that up a little bit with some eyeshadow, all right? So that's not too bad, not mad at that. Okay, and for palette, I didn't want to buy too many palettes, so I just got one that had the most pinky shades in. Not sure whether I made the right decision, but this is um, the Wonderlust palette by Cute Press. Okay, it's got, it turned out to be more nudie, peachy shades, so I'm going to see what, how I can work with this. Okay, so um, I'm not going to be able to rely on pops of pigment today, so I guess I'm just going to sketch out my... Um, eye shade. Using this fluffy brush from um, BH Cosmetics, I'm using the shade Memories, which is a tan color. Okay, and I'm just going to put that into the crease. Okay, and bring that out like that. Smaller brush, I'm going to use Piece of Me, which is a little bit of a more brown. I'm just going to Bring that a bit lower. Bring that out. These don't blend that bad, just not a lot of variety. And with this flat brush, I'm going to use the darker shade Let's Go, okay, and I'm going to deepen up the crease. Go back and blend. All right, and I'm just going to fill in the browns with the same browns, okay, with the deepest shade on the outside. And ombre that into the front of the brow. And a crusty angled brush. So obviously, the density of the brush really helps to deposit the pigment. I'm going to bring the shadow here a little bit further up so that this brow recedes a little bit. I'll bring that into the brow also. Okay, and now with my flat brush also, I'm just going to cut the crease again, okay, and clean up those brows. Q 
cure for some white milk. And I'm going to set the under eye with this um, holographic prismatic highlighter, Master Holographic by Maybelline. I'm going to use a bit of this dark eyeshadow called Let's Go to deepen up the contour of my face also, blending that into the contour. So this eyeshadow doesn't blend on the face. I'm just going to use some of the infallible powder again to try to soften it a little bit. Okay, but that did add some dimension to the face. Okay, but still not enough color. I'm going to set the eyelid with some of the fair powder just to brighten it up. Okay, and I have this waterproof eyeliner from Heroin Make. Okay, I'm just going to draw my wing. Not the best felt tip. Okay, I've done my wing and now I'm using Piece of Me to just contour the nose with this warm colour and melt it into the eye makeup. So it's a bit of a warmer shade to contour with, no worries. Okay, and the tip, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Let's Go and Piece of Me, rub it off a little bit and contour that a little bit. Okay, so that's the nose and I've also added the extra nostril space with the eyeliner. And I'm gonna go in with this Milani pink. It's quite a nice bright pink. I'm just gonna to try to add the pink to my face now, all right? This is a bit of a cool tone compared to everything else, so hopefully this works. The under eye, I'm going to use the brown again. Close and open it up this way. and blend that out with See the World. And Memories. Okay, so, so now I've got this white cold pencil. It's very good to find good white stuff in Singapore. White stuff, that's what she said. And I've got this cold pencil and I'm just going to extend my inner corner. Quite dry this pencil compared to my other and extend it up. Yeah. So now I'm going to work on the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to use that brown again just to extend this a little bit. Make my eyes look a little bit bigger and more bedroom. It makes a huge difference, doesn't it? I'm going to get some of this holographic highlighter into the inner corner. Okay, so I'm mixing the Milani blush along with um, some of this blush from the palette that I have. Pinkify even more. And now going into lips. So for lips, I have um, this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Movi Pink. Trying to go for a more sultry look today. And now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with the concealer. Snatch the lip here. Try to blend that out. And then contour that with the eyeshadow again. And using the piece of me, so not too dark. So ideally, you know, a really nice black and a really nice white really helps drag. 
In America, the drugstores are really well equipped with things like NYX and ELF and all these really nice pigmented shades. And in, in the UK, you can get Makeup Revolution, but in Singapore, just Maybelline and L'Oreal. Okay. Mm. Okay, and now let's try to put on those lashes. So I made the lashes by stacking about nine of those lashes. I think, I hope they work. Um, initially, I used the receipt to, uh, I used a receipt, coloured it black and made spiky lashes, but it didn't really look very nice with this look. So I'm just going to go with this for now. So I also bought an eyelash curler. So this works as well. So this is also from Watson's. Sponsor me. No, don't sponsor me. And also the mascara is from this heroin make brand. I did not get any eyeliner, so I can't tight line my upper lid. Let's wish me luck with this lash. Hope it stays on. So this is like stacked nine lashes. And each pack of these cost 23 bucks. So this is a $46 lash. That's why I like to go to America and buy those big lashes in the beauty shops. Those cost like five bucks and it's one and done. And use the mascara to blend that into the lash. Okay, I'm just going to pop on these lower lashes and then I'll be back with the finished look. And this is the finished look. Full face of drugstore makeup for Pink Dot. I think I used every single thing that I bought, so that's pretty good. So, I'm off to the Zoom party now, and Pink Dot was a huge success. It was so beautiful the way they did this digital Zoom light up. I'll link it up here. And this outfit I actually wore for October Snatch last year, but I made this new finger wave disco hair to go with it. And, and Cheryl and Dehan from 3-8 helped me embroider it. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm going to go for my Zoom party now. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos, okay? I've got lots of things planned in the future, so please join the family. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye!